Hey there, hope everybody's doing well. Um, this is just a quick video about Venus flytraps. Um, if you want to propagate them, you can let them grow flowers and, and pollinate them. You can cross-pollinate them with different varieties of Venus flytraps and kind of come up with your new cultivar. Um, uh, cross hybrid, rather. Um, this one we self-pollinated, so it should be coming out with just its regular uh, uh, um, G14 rosetted seeds. So we have a couple that have already been pollinated here, and then in the center is the oldest. You'll notice that these other leaves are starting to turn black and um, kind of shrink and close. Um, over a few weeks they'll develop uh, little seed pods and we can harvest them. So here's what the flowers look like open, closing, and closed. Uh, and I will give you some updates. We'll also have some seed available for sale uh, for the G14 rosetted flytrap. Um, what I would like to say with this video is that these flowers take a lot of energy from the plant and it can stress out the plant. So this plant that used to be a giant colony um, after dormancy has now only got about four traps. Um, so keep in mind that this will really tax your plants uh, on energy. So what we have here is a B52, which is a very uh, popular cultivar, uh, very pretty um, bright red bright red traps. Here's a, another one without the flower stock. Um, so these are mature plants, but because they're putting up stalks, they're really focusing their energy on that instead of the, the traps. So what we're going to do with this one um, is basically you wait for it to get about two or three inches, and then you just take some sterilized scissors, cut it off at the uh, as close to the base as possible. Oops, swing and a miss. There we are. Okay, and now we will the the plant can focus on um, focus its energy on the traps and the leaves and. Uh, more more vigorous growth so it is uh, it, it is always fun to uh, crossbreed or, or hybridize or pollinate and propagate your own fly traps but at the same time sometimes if you just want the trap to really fill out uh, be sure to cut that cut that trap off because it is very taxing on the plant I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to comment and, uh, and subscribe. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.